only got one song left. So this has to be a really good song. You can make some noise, it's okay! It's okay! It's okay! I'm from Chicago too! Ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause that's all I did. I was like, word, 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 word. So I took good notes and then freestyled the again. That was the first time I got some form on a freestyle. Other than that, it was super random. And Ron would be like, you wrote that. And I'm like, nah, that was a freestyle. But you know what, to me, that's the biggest compliment you can get. <laughs> I got nothing to lose but this bottle of booze. Chalk it up as a loss and still pay for my. You just want your boy to get what hurt. As I face it, if you get a real right now, get a face it. Shout it to the lamb. Shout it to the lamb. I shine on the cat. My mind's on the chain. People's here sitting at the table. If you don't know who they are, shame on you. We'll put the links in the bottom so you can check out everybody. What's up? Thanks for joining us at the table here. Man. Pugs. What up, bro? Love, man. What's up, bro? Doom. So we got the drinks. We're sitting down. Yeah, cheers. Yeah. So let's start off like this, yo. Uh, I mean, I know all of us have been making tracks and doing shows for a minute, yo. When did you know that you were serious? You know what I'm saying? That you were like, yeah, man, I want to keep pursuing this. You know, versus the site, because you know everybody starts off in that site. Well, I mean, when did I know I was serious? I knew I was serious the moment my mom was like, you rap. And then she was like, play me something of you rapping. And I was like, damn. Okay. All I had on me was like a trial call question. And I think it was like the second album or whatever. And like, I was like, fuck you. This whole tape. So I played this tape for my mom, and she's like, Oh, this is really good. You know, we went through maybe three four songs and find it. I'm like, No, no, it's not me. <laughs> but at that moment, I was like, If she'll take me serious, everybody else will take me serious. Because I mean, for me and my whole life of being an artist and being a musician, my parents were the people where I was like, If they'll go, I know everybody else would go. These are my harshest critics. Yeah. You know what I mean? yeah. Like, my dad was a radio host. He was a Black Panther. He was a communist. You know, he went all over the world. My mom was a painter. And then she went on to manage all these different artists. So I was just like, man, you know, these are people that have a high taste for, you know, creativeness. So I was like, if she went for that, I know I can outdo that. Yeah. You know? So now I got to get in there and work it out. So I mean, after that moment, I was just like, I'm going to be a rapper. What about you, yo? Man, um, I mean, really, really when I knew it was serious for me, uh, I put out the first single and I got so many great responses from it. Uh, putting out a Showtime. Man, this uh, uh, DJ Kinetic from Canada, like first he was like, yo, I can dance your middle, I got the color. And I didn't even know about all this stuff at the time. And it's like, man, I, I just got so much love from the first single that I dropped. Like, That's dope. every DJ gave me back that I sent it to me. So how, how old were you with, uh, 22, 23-ish. 22, 23-ish? 22, 23-ish. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I um, went to a full sale down uh, for audio engineering. Oh, work, work, work. And um, yeah, yeah, so yeah, after that, just man, started getting on the beats and um, man, I got a love for uh, turntablism from my cousin, because my cousin, uh, Horace, used to be a DJ back in the day. I always loved collecting vinyl, and man, my guy Kobe showed me his track, and I picked it up from there. <laughs> so that was it after that, right? That was it after that. What about you, Dooms? Man, for me, me, uh, uh, shit. I started just being a cypher, just like on the south side, street cyphers, and I never really took it. Like, like I was going to be rapid, I was never really in my head. I was, uh, I started battling when I was in college. And, uh, but actually, there's a dude on campus, uh, Starman for Arsenal, which is his name. Uh, he came up to me and he's like, man, you're dope, like, you should, you should use it. And, um, he 
invited me to the to the lab and man, like after the, after after the first song, my first song was like eight hours. Like of me writing and, and recording just because I had never done it before and I didn't have anybody to guide me in that way. I was always just just the cipher head and shit. Like I never really even took myself seriously or anything. But uh, after that song came out, it was crazy because uh, you know a lot of the, the cats that were there on the campus when I got there were already more established. You know, song Solstice. Um, any matter, there's a lot of cats that were doing shit. They all gave me a lot of love. I think after that, I, mean, it's, I just went with it after that. You know? like, I, I never, I never told myself what we were doing, but I was doing what, what I really enjoyed doing. It was fun. Yeah, man. Me, uh, it was like in high school, and I always thought I was terrible. You know what I'm saying? And then you, I started off on some like Doug and shit. Cause I think Doug is Rubbish Bone is like my favorite, you know what I'm saying? I don't know like, like, the intro. Like shit, yeah. Yeah. So I was going, you know, I was I was doing the uh, da, 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 da. you know with that really? little harmony and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I, I don't even want to do that to myself. I know you don't want to. Seriously, I don't even remember. We're talking about right now, Aesop Rocky and them, they're winning with that. So right now, you would be current. You'd be current. But now it ain't it ain't my style anymore, you know what I'm saying? You can't just kick one. Just one. Nah, nah, maybe later, you know? Maybe later. Maybe later, bro. First round. But you know what I'm saying? Then I started hanging around with some hip hop heads. And then you hear the rhyming and shit that's making sense. You know, there's more metaphors, there's similes, you know, they're talking shit. And I was like, man, fuck these thuggish ass dudes, man. This is where this dude just flipped the Reebok side. You know what I'm saying? And the the MC like that. So then that's when I started getting into it. Like I said, man, at first, I'll admit it, I was horrible. I was brutal. See, but man, then you keep going. Sense, no, in that sense, see, for me, in that exact idea of rapping and saying you're gonna be a rapper, that would be me in sixth grade. We had to write a poem about God. And I did my poem, and they're like, he's rapping. And the teacher's like, he's gonna like, rap candy. And they're like, no, no, he's like a rapper. Like, he's a rapping, he's a rapper. And like, that was when I'm like, okay, I need to look this shit up and figure out what the fuck that means. I need like, everybody like, this. People are all going for that. I mean, it was like a, a protest. And it was like, he's a rapper. There's other people, poets, rapper, you know? And that was like, so, you're from the South Side, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You're from the South Side? Uh, Southwest end. Southwest well, we're from very different South Side. Well, well, that's what I'm saying, though. What do you think is the difference between Southside MCs and Northside MCs? It's a difference just between Southside MCs, because it's like what yeah. you came up on. Because there's yeah. Southside MCs that background is more graffiti, like me, and then there's Southside MCs whose background is more just rapping. Yeah. And then there's Southside MCs whose background is more gang. You know what I mean? That's like vast difference in who you came across and what you were into. And that kind of sense, I mean, for me, I, I'm from the graffiti background. So it was like rapping was just like the other part of what we did, but the rapping was the one that seemed to pay off better. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was less trouble. Less yeah, 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 yeah. It's crazy you say that too, because because uh, I, I grew up by the Market Park area and shit. So all the all the little ciphers I used to be in would be uh would be like gang banger ass motherfuckers, and, and I was always on. I always like lyrics. Like, that's the one thing about me when I started listening to a lot of shit. Like, always lyric shit was what we did it for. So I would rap, and I had a bunch of lines and metaphors and shit like that. And a lot of times, it, it just, some motherfuckers would get it, like a more intelligent game, maybe you know what we're talking about. He's saying more and more intelligent. There is a good thing. There is a good thing. No, 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 but you gotta listen to it. That's the only answer that I know. Yeah, yeah, no, you're right. You're right. You're right. right. You're 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 right.
know what I'm saying? I like to plan, I like to pop, plot. Then I like to, you know, conquer. But see, to me, that, that's what made hip hop amazing in Chicago around that time. We're talking late 90s, mid 90s. It was a separatist thing. Like, everybody was in hip hop. Yeah, there was more people that were in the games than in the hip hop. So it was like, if you were in the hip hop, you were very segregated and you were very specific. Yeah. Like, I'm S1M, that's one them, that's one them, that's one them. Everybody else is? Come on, not in there. Well, some motherfuckers would get mad if you battled them and, and fucking beat them. No, no, no. You know what I'm saying? Dude, because I remember I, I, we used to, when the ideologists first got together, we started recording around Foster and Weston and over by Howard and Weston. And I would walk home, you know what I'm saying? Because my mom thought I was on some thug shit. You know, she was like, what the hell is rap? Rap's gangbang. Yeah. You know, so I, I got no bus, for, I didn't have a job, so I'd walk back and forth. And I remember two blocks away from the crib, you know, I'm bumping my headphones. What's up, dog? What you with? I'm like, yo, man, I ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? And that's when motherfuckers try to check, check the tags and stuff. I'm like, yo, man, you know, it's a lot. And then, uh, I guess he heard some music being played on my headphones when I took it off. He's like, what you listening to, dog? And I was like, yo, some more shit. He was like, oh, yeah? Oh, man. And I was like, all right, you know, fuck it, I'm down. Dude, this dude was terrible, man. He was like a fake DMX mixed with bone thugs and hard uh, uh, Looking like a Puerto Rican easy eat. Uh, Dang, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but then, so he kind you know, he finished speaking. It all sounds like, like a battle rap. Right? So, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> because a man pulled all the parties right across the street. Right, 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 right. I'm like, you got me, man. I need, I need to start messing with you. But I gotta go home, yo. <laughs> you know, man. What's your name? Yeah, dude, you're dope. You're dope. <laughs> this was something up now. This thing would have to be little young something. <laughs> the funniest part is, uh, I probably should have took that out. Like, the Zach and Rack thing and Big Man we were very arrogant about uh, our greatness. And we would go like anybody until the humiliation was like our goal. Like, to the point you don't want to ever rap again. Yeah, yeah. Period. Like no in between. I mean, even like when we met Juice and all of them, like we were like, we're gonna come at you right now. I know you're who you are. Fuck that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, when you feel That's like you're it. on point, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, I can take on the world. But it wasn't even on one point. It was just on the sense of just like your honor. Like for us, it was just all about. Because then most of us came from other neighborhoods. Yeah. Like, none of us were from like a high park or a where hip hop was prevalent. In the sense of like, oh, you hip hop, cool. It was more like, oh, you're on that hip hop shit. Yeah, yeah. You're not in any game, you know. So I mean, it was very protective. So I mean, we already had like a chip on our shoulder of like we have to be the endless. We cannot let any mediocrity come in our presence. You must know we are here. So it was very always heated, man. I mean, it was such a gang breaking thing. Yeah. Like I remember it was like me and my guy Cosmo and maybe Prime. I think Prime was with us that night. We were in the UP and we were rapping. We battled a bunch of people that night. And like I'm riding the bus home, I just get off the train on 63rd and um, the Dan Ryan. And I get off the bus, you know, on Aberdeen, on 63rd Aberdeen. And I, it's like three dudes stand on the bus stop. And I get off, and you know how you are when you get off the bus. And it's like fucking two in the morning. You're like, what are they up to? Yeah, exactly. I'm just gonna walk, do my thing. So I'm walking, they're like, yo, 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 what up, man? What are you? And I'm like, I'm me. Because, you know, I mean, in my neighborhood, I was pretty cocky. It's just like my name was um, all in my neighborhood. And, like, the gang rangers, like, the, you know, the oldest of the gang rangers used to walk into school as a kid. So, you know, we had a, you know, a rep of that, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. As far as you know, the hip-hop shit, they see somebody book bag, they're like, all right, it must be his guy, whatever. So then they're like, wait, 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 wait. We just rhymed against you at Navy Pier. And I'm like, oh, shit. They <laughs> call you all types of names. I'm like, damn. How is this gonna go? And then they're like, that's your goal, man. Oh. And then they're like, you rapping folks from now on, right? <laughs> <laughs> word, word. Dude, that, that's how they did me in County, man. When I went to County, I got uh, I got into a fight a week before, and then I got called bombing a week later, so I didn't have an eyeball. You know what I'm saying? So I, I was done. I had to go to County, I had to go through processing. And I had this one dude grilling me the whole trip, yo. You know, staring me up and down. I'm like, fuck, you know, I did a little dirt back in the day, you know? But man, how many years is it later? So he comes up, he's like, yo, I know you. And I was like, no, you don't. Know you don't know me. I'm trying to look anywhere but him. You know what I'm You don't know me. There's dudes sleeping under the benches. This is, this is, this is, some... no, he's just like, I'm not involved in I'm like, I'm nah, not man. I was like, I don't gangbang. He was like, nah, yo, I know I know you. And I'm like, man, you know, 
fuck, I gotta hit this head on, you know? I'm like, from where then? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, from where? Where do you know me from? I'm on some hip hop shit. He's like, no, oh, man, you know this guy and this guy. And I was like, oh, shit, I do know. <laughs> He's like, I hope, I hope you're cool with these guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he was like, no, it's cool, bro. I'm cool with them too. And I'm like, oh, word. But he was a game banger. Did you shake up with him after you No, no, I, I gave him a little. Yeah, I mean, yeah, 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 I got you. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, lunch lunch. Dude, because people were getting their lunch taken. What was in the lunch though? Dude, it wasn't even that spectacular. Everything looked right. Because I was terrible. Every time I had to like do like the 14 hour, 10 hour thing with your feet, like I didn't eat any of that. The bologna went to the toilet. Yeah, thick like, ass, uneven yeah, bologna. It was pretty gross. Dude, people used to trade that, yo. They would trade it. Like, yo, anybody want a juice for a bologna sandwich? <laughs> Anybody want an orange? And dude, those orange were rotten too. You know what I'm saying? Anybody want an orange for a juice? It was, it was wild in there, man. Real quick, like getting back to what you were saying as far as, uh, you know, everybody taking pride in being real competitive with people. Because I know, I know when we were doing the bully shit, that's 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 all we were fucking known for. It's kind of backfiring on us in the future now. But uh, do you think that that kind of helped? Excel the culture in that day because I think it's missing. Like I honestly, think, I mean, like, I think well, yeah, it was real problematic no, 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 back then too. I, I feel that it it provided an honor and it provided a level because I feel now like it's dope in the sense that hip hop is everywhere, but I don't feel like it's like a level of like this is great, this is mediocre, this is terrible. Yeah, like, now it's just like how many views do you have? How many people bought the M3? How many people are talking about you? Well, how many people try to look like you? Well, yeah, yeah, nothing's nothing wack anymore. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. even if you call it whack, you're hating. Yeah. Boom. You know, you, can, you really can't have an opinion. It was very definitive in that time. So, and I mean, to a point, it was negative. Because, I mean, as a young guy, anything you did, no matter how dope it was, was whack. Because it was like, you just started. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah. Right. I'm not trying to hear this shit right now. Like, yeah. I, I personally feel like that shit's missing. Like, I really, I really. Well, no, it's like, no, it's no, like, level. Like, you don't right. have to earn right. your, your right. position. Like, right. everybody can just, like, I got a new album. It's not like you worked. It's out to the YouTube. So do you think uh, it, it would have been easier if we would have had the net SoundCloud? I know, it'd be way easier. It'd yeah. be in a whole different world. I'd probably be a millionaire right now. <laughs> I mean, I was making a pretty good living then. Yeah. I was just selling CDRs at Dr. Bryce Gramophone and all these other places. And my, my A likes in the same way were doing the same thing. We were all were eating off of that. And with the internet and all that shit, that was just widen like our monetary thing because we could have sold way more and then we could have went into t-shirts and you know other shit i mean, I mean, I mean think about if, if you could touch people in europe in asia you know being so young at this point right now in the game to be able to touch the world just by putting on it yeah, yeah yeah i mean we, we could well you know i think i feel like that's what made people so hungry back then too because you wanted no it was limited the, the most so, I mean, people to hear this shit it. so you had to go yeah. aggressive yeah, you had to be true. as hard as you can and just kill everything you know, because there wasn't that outlet. I couldn't put anything on SoundCloud. You know, yeah, I mean, like the like most how you, you had was like a, a message board, and that was like a, a, a roll of the dice message board. That means like half the people before you, the other half would be like no. It was because a lot of people used to plug their shows on the message yeah, boards too. Yeah. I think uh, Galapagos Four had a message I mean, board. Yes, yeah, those were yeah. 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 so for Chicago. Yeah. 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 and then shy bangers. For like the more thuggy shit. Yeah, that was, yeah. That was that was that was your voice. Like two, there's two undergrounds in the city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never know that. And that's the part of like, Chicago. It's a gang banging underground, yeah. dope dealer underground, and then the hip hop. And I like, like honestly, growing up, like I like, I like a lot. Like I, I love psychedelic. Like I love. Yeah, man. Yeah, to get my yeah. headphones. Right. Because <laughs> yeah. that's something you can cruise and smoke to too. You know what I'm saying? Or even listen with a girl. The funny thing sense of psycho drama like i respect them in the sense that every time i went to go make a new tape whoever i was going to get the tape from knew about them or they knew about twisting and in that sense i was like i have to honor these guys because obviously i'm doing what they're doing you know what i mean like we're all in the same accord of like moving forward with pushing our product and taking it serious and taking the right steps yeah. to doing yeah. it you know because when there's people ahead of you you know, you're like, oh shit, I'm walking on the same yeah. path. I gotta be going in the right direction. I'm
<laughs> I don't, you know what? Actually, this is a battle. battles, like, no, for real, I don't, I've never been comfortable battling people that I'm familiar with. I think really? it's too personal. I, I, I got a big mouth. If I feel like I'm, I'm at the disadvantage and advantage in the battle, because everybody knows battles go usually well. Yeah. Someone always has a slighter edge. If I feel like my edge is a little bit lower, like I'll, I'll pull out all the fucking stops. Like, I, that's just the, that's just how my I brain mean, works. You don't want to hold back. I don't want to do that though. I, I really feel like I feel bad about battling people that I feel like. They're they're like that's how you feel, man. That's, that's why I stopped. You ain't got to bring that shit up from last week, yo. Like this guy came to me and he's like, "You're the reason I was the army." And I'm like, I don't know what to say to that, bro. Wait, like, he said what? I'm the reason he was the army. He fucking was. Our room was up rapping for him. Cause that was his career path. And he's like, we battled, and that shit was out there. I don't know my career path. Did your job? I did. I did. I did. I just crazy, crazy, no, I didn't battle. You don't want somebody to ever come back to you again and battle you. You want to start it. Yeah, but I was like, I don't know if the army was the thing. <laughs> <laughs> that was a big joke, right? Like, you could have just been like, I just stopped rapping. Now, I just like, stopped battle rapping. Like, I, had, I, had, I, had, I had to go build some confidence all together, you know. <laughs> I had to quit. Like, he could quit. I was definitely very quick. Like, it's like, like he was already on the verge. He was already on the verge. Like, 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 actually, like, damn, like, you put yourself in combat. Because it makes you think is every motherfucker you shot at was a yeah, how you know, <laughs> yeah. That shit was. Like, you know what I'm saying? He, he just started saying he the bugs so everywhere. Like, I was saying shit. Like, I, was, you know, I, I definitely yeah. was like, your mom is with me. Like, you had a great weekend. Yeah, always. Always. So, would you rather write or freestyle? Now I would mean, rather write. Now you'd rather write. But if I'm in a cypher, I would rather freestyle. But it's on terms. Like, I need a good beatbox. And I need other rappers, other rappers. that can keep up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, uh, man, it's... Uh, I originated just freestyle. You know what I'm saying? I'm about 15 years old in cypher. Like, I probably freestyle for the first three or four years. So when I picked up the pen, the pen was like, it was all new. It was a new space. And I had comparable to my freestyle, my writing. What is it for a It is, you know, because like when you're in a cypher, you know, you're feeding off of the next man and the man before you. You know, when you're sitting there writing through a beat, you're sitting there solo, and it's all I do. So. Well, you're trying to build to the beat to beat and right. you then. And you get a good enough beat, and she starts talking to you. It's definitely two different arenas, you know. Originally, I probably would have preferred freestyle, but writing would be creating a track, I think now there's more to me now. I think the same thing. Is that me personally now? I love writing. Because it's that moment. You capture everything in that moment. You come back to that and just relive that. You know what I'm saying? And no matter what you do, that moment has been captured on a piece of paper. I mean, for me, it's just like my coldest freestyle. I don't remember any of that shit. It's always somebody random that tells me all this great stuff I said, and I can't even tell you what I said. Like, See, I, I love that. I can't even pull that from my verse. Right. And for me, that's a, that's a down cue. I mean, it's great, and it's just like, oh, you killed it, but like, it's just like, I could have used that. Yeah, yeah. Make it a dope ass song. Track. The yeah. greatness that happens in that moment yeah. that was unplanned and you can't even capture it. And I was super not. In, in the second you do try to capture it, I know, I know everyone's probably done it. Like, I'm going to record my freestyles this time. Man, whenever you got something recorded, it's never, yeah, 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 it's, it's yeah, never yeah, the same, yeah, yeah. you know? You got to know, you 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 and me and Prime and Cosmo had just got back from South Park. No, that's not what's the name. From uh, Scribble Jam. And the guys there were like, fuck, oh, Scribble, Scribble Jam right? And we were like, it was fucking amazing, man. It was like drugs. Mm -hmm. We got to see everything we wanted to see. And like, you know, they, they were freestyling. And I told the whole story right there of like, from getting out my, my girl's car to getting on the Metro to go meet the guys from Juggernaut Leary District getting there to all the battles and all I told the whole story. And to me it was such a crime because I was like, damn, I didn't you know, I didn't bled my heart here on this rap and you know, seven people out here, you guys all tell me it's cold, but who else fucking hurt me? Yeah. Right? Where how far is this yeah. gonna go? And then, you know, we were in the studio finishing up our first record thanks for not rhyming with Galapagos and I was at Frontline with the guy John. He had a studio like right on top of New Balance store on North Avenue on um, 
wrong with me. Clark, Clark, excuse me. Clark and Phyllis. And I was like, I need to recapture this moment. And that was like the first time I ever went back into a freestyle and owned that moment. You know, if you never get to really, you know what I mean? Yeah, Say like, yeah. ah, I murdered it. You know what I'm like? You but sometimes so you just zone out and it's kind of like a blackout. Yeah. You know, you're pulling words from everywhere. Yeah, you know, like, yeah, those, with like, all your friends telling you what you said. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Because that's all I did. I was like, word, 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 word. So I took their notes and then freestyled it again. But that was the first time I got to own a freestyle. Other than that, it was super random. And Ron would be like, <laughs> you wrote that. And I'm like, nah, that was the first time. But you know what? To me, that's the biggest compliment that you could get. When you freestyle and it's so cohesive, somebody's like, man, he had it right there. Right. Yeah. He had it right there. But that's you're at this point, though, though, when that's your freestyle. Because that means your writing is not that strong. Right, man. Because you can't do both. You don't think so? I don't know. There's no way. Because your mind's a different place. If yeah. you're about freestyling, you're about right now. You're about jumping into thing. Yeah, yeah. If you're about writing, you're looking at it a whole different way. You're looking at your start, your finish. Freestyling, you're looking at word for word. I need seven words and then I'm in it. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? It's all the build up. Yeah. And then after that, you're just effortless. You know? And you're really it's like he said, that. he said stegosaurus. And he's like, oh my gosh, the source. Let me get into a chorus. And then, 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 then there's always that guy like, oh shit! <laughs> My father does you know, ever. <laughs> what about you, yo? Man, uh, the reason the reason that I don't cipher as much as I use for freestyle, I should go back to what you said earlier. It has a lot to do with the people you're surrounded by. And, and I'm not trying to take shots at none of the newer cats who are freestyling all the time, but I'll sit outside of sub team when I go now, and um, I'll watch motherfuckers cypher, and it's rare when I get the urge to be in a cypher with these cats. Like, like, and I don't, I don't like feeling like I'm being cocky about it, that's but, not the way I look no, at it. No, but it's not cocky in the same sense. I go to sub team all the time, and I just watch. Because right. it's like, I'm not moved to say shit, and I feel a lot of times people jump the gun. You don't always have to rap. No. Like, rap when you feel it. Right. And then kill it. Sometimes you don't rap when you don't feel anything. Right. You make a bigger presence by holding off and not doing anything sometimes. Because you're in that moment again. You know what I'm saying? You're you, you're just chilling, yeah, you're just drinking, taking it in. You're taking you know, you right. get people coming, hey, what's up, yo? Hey, what's up? I don't always have cold and shit to say. Straight up. Like, what I do, it's amazing. But if I don't, I don't want to just bullshit you. And it be that way though, it be that way. Cause not every cipher you spit out your mouth is gonna be the rawest shit ever. You're not always gonna top the last one. Choose your moment. Okay, since, since, since we're on this topic, I just wanna say one PSA. It's the wackest thing ever to hear an acapella battle. Straight up. <laughs> I, know that I, know that I, I stopped doing it for a reason, man. Period. Yeah, I, I, never, said, I never made a plan for me. But then, see, my whole thing is the one thing that you can really help tell the difference between MCs is how they ride the beat yeah. on the freestyle while they're battling. If it's just words, it's like, okay, for real? Like, alright, cool. Go to a poetry off the mic. No, I feel you on that. Especially when, when, beating. when it's a beat that you're familiar with and you're like, oh, it's gonna drop right here. You know what I'm saying? So I gotta come up with a line real quick. Or, 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 even, or even the unfamiliar beats. Like, like how can kid MC4 would have beat <laughs> yeah, Making it work. Right. Yeah. right. But I mean, for me, that's what got me out of battle. As it became more acapella and more syncopated and more robotic, I did, it, it had nothing for me. I'm like, that's not what I'm from. I'm from you hear the beat, and then you hear what he said, and then you come attack what he said, right. and he comes back and then attacks what you said, and you figure out how can I outsmart the A, B, and C in his conversation, you know? Yeah, and I, speaking to somebody who did him, did him for a little bit, because I did, I did grind time a couple times, man, like, those were, like, whatever. I had decent battles, but they were, they weren't as entertaining as, like, your rhyme spitters, your all cities, your, your fucking... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in, I feel like open people mics. that do those are very talented. Let's not yeah, get into it. Yeah, those dudes are dope because I can't do that. I can't just acapella you and make it compelling. That's not my thing. But it just, the heart of it was lost to me. It's like me and Ange, we judged some of those. Yeah. And like when we judged it, I think they probably were like, these are the worst judges ever because we were just like, nobody won. <laughs> no, it is. Is you know what it is? It, it takes something out of it. Like, like the soul. You, you subtract the beat. Right. You subtract the beat. 
and it turns into it turns into a big, you know, a big. I don't want to say a joke, but it's. Who well, could be the funnier? More like acting. Who could be funnier? Who like could be rapping. more right? Who could be more more just just fucking theatrical in your delivery? And you got like a month to think about it. I mean, right. for me, right. my best battles were like so, heat of the moment. I just met this guy. I don't even know his life. Right. Right. I'm going to convince you I know his life. Right. He sucks. He doesn't have a great job. This girl's very ugly. <laughs> if you saw him on the street, you might want to give him change. Right. Like, <laughs> it's, it's convincing. But his mom's cool. But I didn't get a chance to look at his Facebook page and see how many friends he had and then look up his, his government name and see that he right. owed money to the IRS. See where he worked. Yeah. He he got, that, that's what I used to love about, especially going to parties in battle. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That was the best shit. It was the that's best shit. Because yeah. you didn't know nobody, and the people you did know, you weren't necessarily going to battle. You know what I'm saying? If I went to a party with, let's say, pods, no, I'm not gonna sit there and yeah, yeah. yeah. And like, not even like room for each other, but you're like, yeah, yeah. I got you if he goes, he right. goes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. 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 You know, right. it, it, it was beautiful because you really didn't know who you were battling. So you didn't know the skill level of the other person, but you always assumed that they were wrong, so you gotta come raw hurt. And I, if they stepped it up, you'd be like, Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And no more you're the back guy. Yeah. Or you're the back guy. You're just yeah. straight yeah. And, and some of those battles are wrong because they, yeah. they go so beyond three shit. rounds. Yeah. And some of those battles are going five, six rounds until some of these guys was like, hey, man, you need to stop. <laughs> you know, but especially like if you don't know what you get into, so you're just going to toss out a little bait, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to. You don't want to kick it up there full notch, you know what I'm saying? Oh, see, I used to, I used to love the base a little bit, you know? I used to love the base. That's the time of Scribble Jam. Scribble Jam is when people learned about baby. And that was the thing. I'd give, like, Sage Francis, Slug, uh, Brother Ali, Idea, all those guys know about baby. And, like, Chicago guys had no clue outside of, like, Juice and Rumpus, honestly. True story. All of us are like, oh, shit, you play dumb, and then you just smack the shit out of somebody. I, I actually, and I, and I was, I was one of the, the people that didn't really know about baby. Cause my, my whole thing was, uh, anybody, anybody, anybody I've ever met has always told me, oh, you rap? I don't, I don't expect you. Don't look like you rap. So if ever I went, I always like going second. But we come from the same school. Of life. But if ever I went rap, I'm gonna be the coldest dude. Right. There's no, right. yeah. you gonna know this guy is. Ill. But when I used to go first, like that would be my, my, my fucking. My fucking battle plan was to just hit a motherfucker hard as fuck yeah, out the gate. Straight up. Just shake him. First well, round. you're trying to Tyson this yeah, shit. Just first fucking round. first round. 34 I, seconds, you're trying to get that knockout. Your whole mentality, like you thought this shit was going to be easy, fuck you, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, I'm a little short, chubby Mexican motherfucker, like whatever. We're going to put it all off? Then. Right. So, but but baiting is, is one of those things, and there's, like you said, like they were masters of that. Yeah, they had it. They were, they were, they they were straight it. masters yeah. of that, man. Cause I remember when we were looking like they're really wearing this to rap. That's all man. Look crazy. That's all man. So we all like in our new polo shit. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fresh. Yeah. Fuck what? Right. See, that's when I stop judging motherfuckers. Like, nah, I, mean, I can't, can't judge a motherfucker. Right? You know? no, this yeah. dude might be ill as hell. Yeah, you can't, man. So, I want to talk about fans. You know, you know, because there, there's always awkward moments with them. I remember, uh, I forgot what show I was at. And this dude just kept following me everywhere I went, yo. You have some awkward rap I do, right? Mm-hmm. It might be the yeah. beard, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it might be like, man, that dude with the beard, you gotta do some strange shit to it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, every, I went to the bathroom, this dude was right there. I walked out thinking he was gonna come in, he followed right behind me. Right, so I mean, granted, he bought me some beards. <laughs> but still, <laughs> you know, yeah, there's right. do's and don'ts of giving somebody props. You know what I'm saying? And, and me personally, when I hear an MC I like, I don't hesitate to get props. You know, because you, you, if I like to receive them, I'm going to give them, especially if I respect what you're doing. And there's a lot of new school cats, I think, too, that don't know how to receive a compliment. You know, and, and that's something I really don't like. Because I always grew up, you know, somebody can show you some love, you show some love right back. You know, you don't just want to whatever. But, you know, how do you feel about... I feel what you're saying, but sometimes people give you compliments, but you can't give them a compliment back, though. Because if you don't think they wrong, I mean... Oh, no, 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 that's, that's, that's for sure. That's for sure. You're dope, too. Like, no. No, no. You're not dope that's when you're like, oh, thanks. That's the thing. Like, with a lot of supporters, is uh, usually it's a lot of other cats who just trying to get their foot in the door with you. you know? A lot of football fans or, you know, supporters who go over there hanging out next to you, talking in your ear. You know, you got to... 
you got to see whether they're actually just supporting the music or they're just trying to get in there with you because trying to get on the coattail. You know, yeah, which not necessarily is a bad thing. You know what I'm saying? Some of them are on the right track, but you gotta you gotta learn how to feed it. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, have you ever had a a fan take it a little too far? Yeah, Where I mean, been, you know, like kind seven, of seven audience. Like, I mean, whoa. seven audience. Like, <laughs> think about us. We, for some reason, I have like, learned this crazy story. We got, we got I have learned. Of, I mean, I'm not saying twisted fans, but a lot of devoted fans, you know, and uh, they stick with us. You know, they 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 really follow us a lot. They you know that now due to you know social media, it makes them a lot easier for them to follow what's going on in their everyday life. And, yeah. They get involved, you know, but I don't know about crazy instances with fans, but you know, just some maybe you get a little too attached, you know. And yeah, you gotta learn to keep your little your space and realize what's you what. You kind of want to do like, yeah, you know, talking a little too close, <laughs> and you get a little too involved, you know, a little too much about me, you know. So, yeah, yeah, you know. Well, I mean, I always liken it to like if it's a girl you like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you're following her on Facebook and Instagram. You cannot come in like, I like 35 of your pics. Like, it's just not, not going to be. Like, I like the socks you wore the other day. Yeah, that's just not going to work. Like, it's got to be in a real space. Commenting got shit from and like it, two years ago. And, and for me, like, I'm a very humble guy. You know, if somebody comes and says, they like what I do, I take it, and that's it. I don't, I don't do anything. You, you, you ever had a crazy experience with a fan where you were just kind of overwhelmed? Like, yo, man, you need to, you need to chill out, man. Nah, because I mean, the way I approach it, like, I mean, I'm just thankful that you did it. So yeah. I don't even let it go to that to extreme. That point. Yeah, I'm so like, I appreciate that. That's weird. You know, it's bigger you. So I'm yeah. Yourself to do it. I mean, and, like, uh, on my new album, Battle P, that comes out on the 30th, like, uh, we have a song together called Girl. You know, and then I'm talking to, like, uh, young girls in the sense of, like, the chick that's coming to the club. And I'm like, oh, well, this is hard when you start receiving praise. And I mean, that's something I always thought about. In the sense of like, when people start telling you you're dope, it's so easy to be, just go fucking, you know, yeah, I'm Hitler yeah. with yeah. that shit, you know? And for me, I'm just like, I appreciate it. But it's a distance as well. And you saying that you accept it. And you're like, word, thank you very much. Yeah. And move on. Or buy a CD. <laughs> I feel you. Because I got him on me. Because I've, I've never been, I've never been big headed. Even when people give me props, like I appreciate it. I don't, I don't let it get out of hand. But uh, I actually have had a couple of weird instances. Like, you know, you, you get off stage doing a show or, or at the battle, and motherfuckers trying to come hang out with you for the rest of the night. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's, yeah, man, that's just you being you. Though. You know what I'm that's saying? That's nothing with rapping. That's just like, you being you. Like, like, like man, Joe, you're dope. Huh? I appreciate it, you know what I'm saying? Little quick conversation, thinking that's the end of it. And my was, so what you doing after this? <laughs> well, I'm going my way, and you're going your way. Like, I, don't, I don't really know you like you that. You want to see my career? <laughs> right, right, like if you ever need anything, I got you. What's that mean? I fucking know you, bro. <laughs> I mean, I've had girls hang on the side of a car. You know, that's, you know. It that's changes when it's a female, though, don't, don't, don't it? Go. When it's no, a female, you know, it's not when it's a female. If I'm annoyed, I'm annoyed. It I got, doesn't, I got, it doesn't freaking matter. I got a weak spot for uh, for women. Like I won't even lie. So when, he has a weak spot, I have a weak for, spot women. for women. Women, come on, come get doomsday. <laughs> so no, all no, ladies are welcome right it's, now. It's uh, you know, Drink. like it's it's always <laughs> it's always like like a I won't say awkward, but it's just it's just weird. You know, like I I I've, I've known females that, that I've been cool with for years. You didn't know I rhyme. Females, well, obviously, but. <laughs> Females that I've known for years didn't know I rhyme. You know what I'm saying? Just have been cool. Just been, just been cool and nothing more. And then the second they find out you rhyme, like that changes the whole, the whole fucking relationship. Like shit. Kid, you know, a friend is rich. Huh? I didn't know you were rich. Why did we go take a trip? <laughs> no. like, I didn't know you rhyme. Really? <laughs> I will tell you one cool. weird story. In the sense of like um, doing shows, I was in another country, and this person like we had talked on you know Facebook, Twitter, and you know I like what they did as well. But they came to my show and they wouldn't talk to me. Like they hit me up saying I'm coming, I put them on the list the whole nine, and then you know the next day I was like, hey, you know, did you come out? I didn't, you know, I didn't see you, and they're like, I didn't want to bother you at your thing. 
it was amazing to see it, but I didn't want to bother you. And it, to me, that's like the weirdest, like, yeah. wow. In the sense of space, and like, right. not wanting to invade somebody's space, but then, like, not saying, like, you were invited, though. It wasn't like, yeah. right. You right. could have bought me yeah, a drink, and like, what's up, man? No, now you're bought me a drink. I told you to come. Right. You told us, right. You invited us. Yeah. Right, yeah. That's... I would have bought you a drink. Right, that is. There you go. Yeah. That is definitely. So weird, yo. We're on the next round. It's peace, it's love, it's hate, it's God, it's peace, it's will, it's fake, it's will, it's fake, it's give, it's take, it's norm, it's strange, it's the world we live in. It's war, it's peace, it's love, it's hate, it's God, it's peace, it's will, it's fake, it's will, it's fake, it's give, it's take, it's norm, it's strange, it's the world we live in. It's the world I'm living, I'm trying to learn as much as I can, the truth is forbidden, so for now I keep these kinds of doubts. Producer standpoint, you know what I'm saying? What do you expect from the MC? Oh man, um, to be on beat, to visualize the beat. I um, I grew up. My two favorite groups are Farside and Bayon. So yeah. you gotta visualize the beat. You gotta be on point. You have to be one with the beat. I I I, I got it. You gotta be in pocket and not say too much ratchet stuff. Cause yeah, people just don't really want to hear it. Oh, it's out of head sometimes. So do you prefer to see the right with you at the lab? You know, once you're done, do you would you rather have them take it home? I, I prefer them to have it memorized up front because more so when they come to the booth, when they have it memorized, I can help them work on their vocal tone, yeah. work on them getting the match, and they have to know the material well enough for me to be like, I want you to do this, I need to do that, I want you to punch in this word. Like if they have a certain punchline, it's like, okay, they can put some animation, but if they're doing too many syllables, that punchline won't pop. I need them to be able to be able to punch that punch line in a way and to be able to double it, triple it, you know, to really bring it out. I, yeah, I want people memorizing stuff. And I mean, yes, magic has happened when everybody's writing, but if you're not on that advanced level to write something and really go in and spin it, I want people to have it memorized. Yeah. Makes yeah. my job. So you can tweak it a little better, and then once it's memorized, you can flip the beat and that's what every MC likes. You know, when you get in there and you just start flipping shit, like, oh, this guy. Well, I mean, like, it's written, like you saying, like, Preferably, like I would, when I get a beat from the producer, I, I don't want to go home in the lab and sit there and write to it and get right to the groove. I want to go home and I want to study this, I want to fix what needs to be tweaked. I want to write the beat properly, you know what I'm saying? And like, some cats, I mean, they want to get in there, they want to write, they want to do it all, knock it out one day, but it doesn't come out. Because if I do that, I'm going to hear it a week from now, and I'm like, damn, I can change that. That didn't sound right. You know, and it's like, uh, with the beat, for me, it's like, you know, you give me like four or five beats. And my guy, I had to say this every single beat, send me like four or five beats. He's like, I can hear you on number three. He's like, I can hear you on that one. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, the thing about your beats is you got about four of them, and I can hear myself on all of them, but differently. Because the beat for me is the structure, is the flow. You know what I'm saying? I don't go in every beat with the same flow. Like, cats got notebooks full of rhymes, and they, they can like adjust that rhyme to any beat. Like, no, I want to write two of the beat. Because the beat is what structures how I'm gonna write it differently, you know. Like, like I got like my album I just put out. There's 18 tracks on it, and every beat, and every flow is different. Yeah, you, know, you got a structure to the beat, you know, and all of it. it all comes together how it should. You know, when you write to a certain beat instead of just applying a random verse to it. You know. I mean, one one of the best songs I think that I've ever made. I had to wait a, a year and a half for Duke to write to it. He wrote like six verses. Shit. But by the time, by the time he got done with it, it was a dope song. Worth the wait. It was worth the wait. It was very worth the wait. So you, you don't mind as as long as it's a dope ass outcome. How long the MC takes to write? Well, we're with within reason. Within reason. With reason. <laughs> got, got, got to get in before the time I finish master. <laughs> you know, because they because me personally, I like taking my time sometimes with some with some uh, with some beats to write to. Because I like sitting there, coming back, you know, leaving it, getting my head cleared. I got that foundation, so I'm constantly thinking of it in my head. Then when you sit back to it, yeah, and blah, 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 blah. You know, that, that's just how I like doing shit. Right. For me, it's just based off, if it's just me, I take my time. Like, I want to do it soon, and then you can keep it. I feel like the only thing you can get when other people are involved, it works as well as me. Yeah, yeah. So you gotta be the first instance. Right, you all gotta work off the same, the same drum, and the same feeling around that. Instead of letting it drift away. Hey, I, 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 I got a question for all of you. 
Um, so it's like the difference between like hearing the verse before you versus just everybody going blind. Like, like my my whole thing is like to make a great song, you gotta build off the last person to hear what they're saying to go forward. But you want to take the song, yeah. But then um, like the, uh, Sophia was like, um, he was like, yo, like man, that, that's like a no no hip hop. Like you can't, you know, the next dude gonna try to kill the first dude. But I'm like, if y'all come that together, so my thing is, I think we like since maybe 2000, 2001. And we all need to share our verses. But you know, we're, we're, we're three different entities, or four different entities, I'm sorry, where we all come from a different part of life. So even if we hear each other's shit before we lay it down or while we're writing it, it doesn't necessarily matter because he's gonna say it this way, you know, because he's this way. He's gonna say it this way because he's more this way. Like he might touch on some of the stuff, you know, I talked about, and I talked about, and one of the you know, these guys talked about. But it's always going to be done a little different. So that's, that's something I've always liked about my crew. We all grew up different. You know, we all grew up in different parts of the city. You know, and, and we all have a different... We, we can talk about drinking, and everybody's going to come up with something different. You know, even though we fucking, you know, started reciting our shit, maybe the first four bars. You know, just maybe to get a little motivation to the to group. Like, you know, I read the they have that. You know, and everything always comes out different. Like, when we did that 9 to 5, when we're doing the remix right now, you know, uh, Mike told, Mike's text told me his verse. And I'm like, oh, where did I feel it? But I'm flipping it totally different because it's my life. You know what I'm saying? And it's me, and he's such a different character than I am. See, for me, though, with that kind of thing, because of what kind of song. Then we all need to talk so we can figure out what points are being covered and what points aren't being covered and how we can incorporate each other in the thing. I mean, to me, it's just really basic to talk. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And not to take anything away from our shit talk of a real song, but to the point, those are the right goal with songs in a way of like, we don't need to talk to do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But if it's a concept, then we need to it's such a build general together. topic. Yeah, yeah. We, you know, yeah. easily we'll all be related. Exactly. It's like uh, on, a, on a shit talking song, like that's that's always gonna happen. Like if you share verses on a song where everybody's just talking about being the dopest MC in the world, like it's 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 nature, it's, it's human nature. You, you hear a motherfucker say like flip a crazy rap scheme and then do a whole shit load of punchlines. Like, you can't. As, as, as a serious MC, not want to <laughs> come in there. Well, you know, it's like not want to come in there and I'll, I don't want to say I'll do that. No, it is not you. It's, 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 it's one of those, oh, yeah, moments. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. Oh, yeah. Right. See, I think, right. I think it all matters, like, like, uh, like the camp I come from, there's, there's a lot of us. So if we're working within the camp, and you know you're starting off, and automatically you're going to jump out and set the bar high. You know, regardless. But it's like, say if you send us all a beat out individually, you, know, you email us all the beats, and like, all right, just send me your verse back. Not knowing who's going to go first, or you're not going to get nothing but a beat. The concept or what it may be, you know, and it's just, you just kind of got to go in it blindly, and just, you just got to go with your gut feeling, you know, as opposed to knowing who you're going in it with and how, how they normally, you know, you come into a, a, a group track or, or whatever it may be, you know what I'm saying? So if it's within your own camp, then you know, it's, you know where you got to go, you know, and if you're going to start it out. Like, it's like, all right, this is my beat, this is my track, I started this beat. Yo, what up, bro? We're here at NYA 2977 North Elston. We just finished the last round at Drinking at the Table. I got my man Sean Dervis here. He spins here every Wednesday alongside with Ernie, who plays the drums. Yo, if you guys want to donate a round at Drinking at the Table, Hit me up at eclipticshadow at gmail.com. The link will be below. 
or if you wanted to provide the whole night, we'll let everybody know who uh, who bought the round or who bought the night. Yo, much love. Thanks for watching. Peace.